What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one today. We are going to be taking a look at a, the new nominating contract. So we still have our free players here. You get two free spins for the Italian Blitz Curler Del Piero Totti and Baggio pack. And also you have the J League and the Player of the Week. We'll get to all of those as well as the Spanish League as well. We'll get all the reviews out of the way in the training guides. There's also an Arsenal FC standard one that you get for free. As well, there's four players in that and you get all four players. But what we're going to focus on today is what a lot of people have been asking me. Is it worth spinning or spending your nominating contract? So as you can see here, I have two nominating contracts. But they're going to last until the 28th of August and the 12th of August. So I have time but I think I'm going to get a free one as well after 15 games in a new match pass. And I think that there is only of the six players here. There's probably only two players that I really recommend. Now, I would say that there's a bit of a... There's a bit of a kind of an extra point to put there in that if you have another version of Kimmich, if you have another version of Pepe, if you have Suarez, any of these players I think are going to be worthwhile to have in your club. But I feel like Lukaku and Suarez... Yes, Suarez can go to 90 plus in finishing... His balance can be good, his type of possession isn't too bad, his physical contact is quite nice as well. I have another version of Suarez that's very similar to this. He does have nice player skills. I don't know if this Suarez is worth a five-star nominating contract. Now, we have Daily Blind as a four-star. He's in his own category because he's the only four-star. But of these five here, I would say that Lukaku is definitely probably going to be a bust. I don't really rate him at all in this game. Um, this is a very downgraded card. You have 24 levels on him, finishing at 78. His balance is atrocious. His acceleration is terrible. Even his ball control and tight possession is shocking. Physically, he's good, but then he's got only 65 jumping and 75 heading and, and 77 attacking awareness. So I would say that of all the players here, Lukaku, unless you're having a bit of crack or unless you use your favorite player or whatever um, and you like the cut of him, I've, I definitely think Lukaku is the easiest kind of like miss um, and I definitely wouldn't spend my five-star nominating contract. Listen, if you've got 10 versions of Kimmich and 10 versions of Pepe or whatever, if you're not just ever going to play them, I definitely feel Lukaku is still the one not to get for, go for. Daily Blind is a very solid card, right? He's only got 20 levels. He's done part of the 100 club. This is 100 caps for their national team. Speed, acceleration, kick and power, and jumping with balance and stamina. All fairly solid for a build-up CB. His levels at 20 are probably not going to be that good. Um, but he's more of a ball playing kind of player. He doesn't have that rapid pace and acceleration that the likes of Saliba has or a lot of the new build up that they've been bringing. These are basically like low to mid game entry level players, lads. Honestly, um, there's going to be a lot of extra, you know, better players on the GP marketplace, especially with the levels. So Lukaku and Daily Blind. Daily Blind for a four star. I mean, personally speaking, I'll probably sign in because I've got an extra four star to unlock here. And you can always release these cards and get a little bit back or train them up and have a bit of crack with them. But I probably won't waste XP on this guy training them. I'll probably just train him up with a couple of other methods that we've done, including the My League and like really fast methods. I have a video on that as well. But it's going to be all about the five star nominating contracts here. It's not the best pack. I'm going to be honest. I, I keep going around and around and around. Lukaku and Suarez are just not going to cut it. Yes, statistically wise, Suarez is okay. Skill wise, he's okay. But it is going to be all probably about Kimmich. Kimmich is definitely the pick of the pack here. He's got 32 levels. It's a very strong Kimmich card for unwavering. We're actually going to sign him straight up and train him up for you guys live. Because I know a lot of you will want to see the build. Even though I'm going to have to waste a lot of trainers on this Kimmich. I have other versions of Kimmich as well that I've really liked. He hasn't been somebody. I know people love this card, love this player. He hasn't been somebody that has dominated for me. I've always found it. He doesn't really fit into my teams. I like to have two strong centre midfielders to be able to do everything. You know, aerial, defending, everything. He's kind of a luxury item, but some people swear by him. So he's a definite must if you want to get your free five-star nominating contract there. Um, and I would also say between Xhaka and Pepe, I'm probably not going to buy the two of them. Xhaka is an orchestrator. If he was an anchorman with 33 levels and he also has a couple of nice player skills... It's pretty decent, but I don't think I'll waste my nominating contract on him either. He doesn't have blocker. He doesn't have any defensive capabilities apart from his high aggression. His speed, his balance, his acceleration, and his dribbling for carrying the ball as an orchestrator is very poor. Um, passing is okay. But yeah, physically, 75 physical contact is just not going to cut it at this stage in the game, especially for a five-star. If he was a four-star, yes. Is he going to be worth it if you put him in your team? Yes, he actually is quite good because he's quite tall. He's got the long limbs. And he actually plays above his stats. And this card will be no different with 32 levels. But Pepe is another one that I would definitely be interested in getting. Now, 
I already have a version of Pepe with the Portuguese team. He's down as a destroyer. His aggression is insane. His tackling is really good. His defensive awareness is really good. Defensive engagement is really good. And he's jumping in physical contact. What lets him down is his speed and his acceleration. Because of a destroyer, he's going to be a little bit more aggressive. But I'm going to show you the Pepe that I have. And that might steer you before I do this, right? And I'll show you Kimmich trained up in real time here as well. No real edits done. We'll just do and show you exactly how we're doing it. So the Pepe that I had on this profile here was part of the Portuguese pack um, that was included Ruben Diaz and a couple of those boys, right? So I think that if it's going to come down to that, whether or not you want to sign these players or previous cards that you already have, that's probably going to steer how you're going to train these cards up, right? So for example there, we're going to get Pepe in and we're also going to get Kimmich into this kind of role here as a DMF or else as a CMF. He's down as an orchestrator. This Pepe that I have here with 77 speed, 96 defensive awareness, 90 tackling, 99 aggression, and 95 defensive engagement is pretty much what you're going to be getting with the other version as well. This Pepe from the Portuguese pack is 20 levels. I know a lot of people bought the Portuguese pack, and that is how we train him. So it'll take on a similar uh, training. You know, 7 into lower body, 8 into aerial, 9 into defending, and 1 into goalkeeper, 1 for jumping. Kimmich is probably the one that I would be most interested in. As I said, I have different versions of Kimmich. There is different ways of training him. He's going to take a good lot of trainer points here. Now, luckily enough, we have a good lot of these 1,000 ones. And we'll get this up fairly quickly. He'll probably take about 90,000, I would say. 83,000 he takes. Uh, not even. So he takes about 82,100, which is a lot of an investment if you don't have a lot of skill trainers, or, or sorry, a lot of XP. But this is where it kind of gets interesting with Kimmich. Because he is fairly good all round, you can actually get him into a very solid position with very little. Now, usually what I do with these cards is I will try and get him to about 85 and everything and just kind of mess around and see how we can actually train him up quite decently and quite solidly, um, especially with the acceleration, especially with the balance and especially with his lower body. That's probably going to be where most of our points go, to be honest with you. And even at that 13 into lower body, that's going to max out his stamina, 85 speed, 85 acceleration, 89 balance, 88 kick and power. And 80 plus for all his defensive capabilities with 86 tight possession, 85 low pass, 84 ball control. Potentially, I would probably put him one more into balance there to get it to 90. Or also, I could probably try and get his kick and power up to 90 if you want to spend them all there. But you can also put that into defense as well. I think the trick with an orchestrator is to have their aggression quite high. And as, basically as high as you can possibly get it. We could go higher with this here if we wanted to and still pop one into aerial strength. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you could train him up. I don't think I want to go with the dexterity because it's going to take too much. I would probably go with that um, if you're asking me. I would probably go with that build. It's an all-round build. No weaknesses in this card. He's going to be 98 overall with Pep Guardiola here. 98 CMF as an orchestrator. You throw on a couple of skills on him. He already, if you can get blocker on him, brilliant. But he has one touch pass. He has true pass and way to pass. He doesn't have low lofted, but you could give him that. Very, very solid card. Like, there's nothing to dislike about that card. 85 speed, acceleration, 83 plus with all his defensive stats. Balance at 89 and stamina at 99. It's a phenomenal card. One of the most balanced cards, and you can get him for 100% free. So that is it for me, lads. I would say, yeah, thumbs up for Kimmy. And obviously, you've got Daily Blend as well as a four-star. Let me know if you've signed somebody. Let me know if you like my recommendations and my build for Kimmich. Otherwise, I'll talk to you in a bit.